So first thing first, let's assume guys, let's assume I'm new to a project. Okay, I'm new to a project. Maybe I have an experience of three years in my resume. Okay, I have a three years experience on my resume and I'm joining today guys. Okay, I'm joining the company, not the project, the company today guys. I got the joining letter, I got the offer letter and everything and I'm joining today. So what happens on your day one guys? The people who are non-IT guys, you may have to see this part so that you have a mindset how you need to prepare for your day one to day end. So on the day one guys, what happens? Anyone who already have a experience guys? Who already have an experience day one? Okay. The formality of like onboarding happens like very simple guys, nothing much. This is your like a kind of a free money guys. Okay. This is kind of a free money on day one guys. It will be like onboarding process guys. Okay, onboarding process will be there. They may ask you to come around like 10 a.m. or they may ask you to come at 10, 10 or 11, something like that. Maybe you will come first guys, but the HR will come around late guys always. Okay, I've been into many companies guys. And every time the same thing. If they tell you to come at 10 o'clock, guys, they themselves will come at 11 o'clock. I don't know why. They want to showcase that they are busy or they want to showcase the time is different. I don't know. But as soon as you go and join the company, guys, you need to sign a lot of documents. Okay, a lot of documents here. Make sure you have all your documents in your hand, guys. Don't try to say that I'll be giving tomorrow or next day like that. Your onboarding will be stopped and you need to wait for to get the next step to done. So make sure you have all the relevant documents, whatever you had. Now, Anil, I'm using a fake experience as such. Should I need to worry? No, guys, nothing like that. OK, on the onboarding process, nothing will happen. You need to keep your uh, offer letters if I want to tell you. OK, you need to keep your offer letters here, something like this, basically. Then your uh, relieving letter your experience letter. They are two different guys. OK, these are two reference here. The experience letters you need to keep with you. Uh, any previous job that you have in that particular detailed documents that you need. A bank statement, guys. OK, a bank statement is required to be very frank. And if you already have a job, guys, you'll be having uh, generally called your PF account. OK, if you're working in India. You'll be having a PF account, guys, that you may need it. Uh, then apart from this, you may need some your KYC kind of PAN card kind of things, guys. OK, keep a PAN card number here. Keep uh, kind of your other number, something like that in your hand so that you may need to sign those things. And of course, on the onboarding day only, guys, you will get your bank account. You will get a bank account also to open. This is one of the good thing what you can get in a first job. If it is a first job, guys, if you already have a job and everything, guys, these are nothing. You know it. Okay. But what happens here, guys, the most important thing what happens is they may introduce you to your team also. OK, on the very first day, guys, there is a high chance that they may introduce you to your own team or they may just keep it with you in the whole day and then they ask you to come next day where they can introduce you to the team. Now day two guys, OK, day two here. What is your expectation guys? Day two also guys, nothing much, nothing much here. In this case, you have no work guys, you have no work, but your manager guys, your manager will raise a request. OK, will raise a request to the access purpose. OK, access purpose to the systems guys that the uh, the client, they will raise a request saying that a new resource has joined our project. We need some credentials for this particular resource. Now during this time, guys, it will take a week. OK, it will take a week of time. Sometimes uh, sometime it will take within two or three days. Also, you should be ready for that. During this time, guys, within this particular day three to day seven, something like first one week, guys, you'll be having a KT session. What is a KT sessions, guys? What do you mean by KT sessions? Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer, guys. Okay, the people who doesn't know this, it's called knowledge transfer. The one of your team member, okay, one of your team member, guys, will elaborate, okay, will explain the details of the project, guys, details of the project 
now when you are in this particular case guys okay don't show aggressive don't be aggressive on understanding how many programs are there how many jcls are there don't think about that what you need to think about is first question is it a batch or online application okay this is what you need to know first because based on the processing type you have your work ethics as well your work rules will be changing guys the second thing here okay the second thing that you need to know here is what kind of tools are used because you know cobol you don't need to ask any question on cobol you don't need to ask any question on jcl or anything on db2 or cscs forget about those four modules that is part of your training what we am covering but what you need to know is what tools are used in that particular project guys now very important this is very simple thing but very important guys so used in that particular project here now why it is important first thing guys first thing what it is important is if they say okay if they say that they are having a tool called uh, the change men okay if they say that in their project they have a change men as the tool now you always okay from here onwards you need to say always in your previous project you were having endeavor tool okay i'll write it in the next line for you it's very important guys this is very important to the people who are going with an experience resume and i'm assuming like that only guys okay i'm assuming every one of you are going with an experience that you really doesn't have okay so if the project is having a changement tool okay if the project is using a changement tool you always okay should tell tell that you had experience on endeavor tool why so why so guys we don't know much about this tool you should be clearly saying that you don't know this tool okay the intention is not to elaborate this fellow you need the intention is to tell that i don't know this fellow i don't know this particular fellow at all so that the part of the tool will be added to your kt session guys okay even me guys for example i have experience in all those tools guys but let's assume that i joined as a 3 plus or 4 plus experience and i have real knowledge on endeavor tool okay i have a really real knowledge on this endeavor tool but i don't have a knowledge on this change man so in the project i will tell even with a real 3 years experience also i will tell the team members that i have good experience on this one but i have never used this tool at all now they will not doubt me because there is nothing like that it is very possible case and two things can happen either they may try a kt session on changement separately or they may say that anil during the, during the work i'll show you during the work i'll show you you can catch up that tool in a minute so that's an easy part guys okay these tools are very easy for example guys how much time you took to learn a file manager tool and use a copy book to see the file guys in our training how much time you took to see a file manager tool and open the file with a copy book did i took a special class for that no did we took hundreds of hours guys no just two minutes at the end of the class i showed you that this is a tool you need to use how much time i showed you a spoofy tool guys How much time I showed you a spoofy tool to run a query? Just two minutes. Just two three minutes only, right? So basically, tools like this kind of tools, guys. They some of the tools you may need some twenty minutes of session. Some of the tools you just need ten minutes of session, guys. So tools are easy. In the project also, you can learn them directly also, guys. But why you are learning this tool such a important guys is to polish your answer in the intro properly okay tools are important to get your job guys now again like i said okay let's go back here in one week guys all the kt sessions are completed and again i want you to know you need to prepare you need to ask for the environment details guys what are the environment details means what does this mean guys the tso test or prod what is the environment for test and prod for your uh, db2 what is the ssid for test and prod what is the schema name for test and prod here uh, what are the naming conventions guys what is the naming conventions for cobol 
what is the naming convention for JCL, what the naming conventions of your control cards, what the naming conventions of copy book, what is the naming conventions for your plan, packages, everything. This is a technical point which you are learning the environment. You are not asking them what is the COBOL program length or what is the program contains. You are asking, give me the naming convention. You know this part, I have explained you how the naming convention you need to learn from project point. So during this KT phase, guys, you can assume that you are having zero work, but this knowledge transfer is important. And most important, guys, most important that you need to learn in this KT phase, possible KT phase, is your data processing flow. That means if you are in application B, guys, okay, if you are in application B, you need to know after your application, after your data, your application data processing is completed, guys, where the data is going, okay? Who is the end person? Who is the end person who is using your data after processing? Also, you need to know who is the source for your application as well, guys, from where you are getting the data. When you are getting this KT, guys, don't learn COBOL JCLs. That's what you did in our training. In the KT sessions, you need to learn about the application. So from where you are getting the data, who is the source for you? Because without knowing where the data is coming, guys, you will never able to know how to bring the data into the system. Now, once the process is completed, guys, you need to know who is the end users, guys, who is the end user? Because if there is a data issue, these are the people who will come and talk to you only. And sometimes the data may not be having issue from here. You may have issue from the source. So this line of flow is important, guys. Maybe you'll be getting input from multiple sources. Maybe you'll be sending the output for multiple sources as well. So get the clear understanding. OK, it's a one week or 10 day session, guys. It's a very long day. You have no other work. So make sure you understand this part. If it is a batch application, guys, OK, you got a job and you know it is a batch application. Work with Cobal, JCL and DB2. If it is online application, try to recollect, try to revise our recordings for CSS application. Don't waste your time, guys. Don't waste your time. Your getting a job is easy. OK, getting a job is easy through getting an interview round. But staying in the job for a long time is very hard, guys. For this, you need to keep on updating yourself with proper knowledge. 